I think we have a wide variety of students. Um, they come from different cultures, a lot of them, different nationalities. Um, they bring a lot to the school. The, this difference is, is seen as a, a power. Um, it's a, a positive thing in our school because learning is really the sharing between um, students. And this allows our students for lots. We have a lot of returnees, a lot of students who have who come from overseas and students that are here in Japan and it's this sharing that, that we found is, is one of our most positive strengths in the whole school. Um, it starts with a positive learning environment. I think students need to feel safe, safe, of, safe of heart and, and, and safe of body. So um, we start with creating a very positive environment around the school. Um, with all the students, with, uh, with all the teachers. And then we, um, we push the, the students, um, we challenge them, and, and when, they, when they fall, whether academically or socially, we're here to support them. And, and what we find, with it, it's kind of a whole child philosophy that children can reach 20% higher than they believe they can reach. So we, we hold them to high expectations and we're here to support them. I think you're walking in, into a, a school that's had some great results. Um, we have a very positive uh, learning environment here and a great group of students. Um, we know you're nervous when you're, you're walking through the door, but we ask that you come with a positive spirit Try your best and, and we're here to support you um, all the way through it. We see it, uh, you know, as a journey and it's a, a process and we want the families involved to, and we want them to enjoy it. I mean, education is really a family matter and, and we're just one big family here. So uh, we encourage you and, and welcome you to come and enjoy uh, education at Columbia International School. So I think the most important is for the kids to really have fun because during the time that they're having fun, they learn a lot more and having fun is really important to immerse themselves into the education. Um, also safety is really paramount when dealing with the younger age kids. So having a safe environment and making sure that they're safe is really important. Um, the last thing I think that I really focus on is hands-on which is uh, allowing the kids to get into the activity and have more hands-on rather than just verbal instruction or worksheets. Tokyo Mommy, no, no Japanese, please, to go to Okay, okay, みたいな So, that's the case now. I think as a, as a multi age kindergarten, the multi age kindergarten is quite different than a regular kindergarten because we have all the ages from K1 to K3. So, having the multi age class is really a good thing for the younger age kids because they, the younger students get to learn from the older students and allows them to feel like more like a family and the older students get to teach to the younger students, which helps build their leadership, and that allows them to feel more like a family as well. So the classroom environment becomes really family-oriented. So I, I think that I would like to say um, please take the time to look really hard at what we offer in Colombia. The teachers are arms wide open for everybody, the staff is welcoming to everybody. So please come in, have a look, and make a decision by yourself. We are looking forward to the new school year.
At Columbia, we're trying to make our students good people. We have various learning skills as well, so we want to make them good students as well. These are the two things we combine each day. Basically, throughout every single subject in Columbia, we're following the Ontario curriculum. And when you do that, you have a learning goal each day for each subject, and you have success criteria. How can I be successful today? It's really well laid out. After the students will do the work, they are going to get assessed by their peers, and they're going to self-assess, and the teacher will give feedback. And taking all of that advice, the students know exactly if they can check the box, yes, I am successful, or what do they have to do next as a next step. So not only for English, of course, we have this math, you know, every, everyday success criteria, but even I teach phys ed, I, I just finished a basketball unit, but at the start of the unit, let's try the layup. I mean, there's various steps to a layup. The students have so much trouble just doing a simple layup. Well, simple, it's not simple. And once you do success criteria, these four steps to do a layup is amazing. My, my kids can now do 10 layups in a row. That's success. So it can be PE, it can be English, music. Success criterion is in every course, and it really has unbelievable results. <laughs> Of course, within a classroom, you're going to have different personalities. But generally, you know, you walk on the playground, our students come in happy and they leave happy. So each day, you know, you can tell that they enjoy school and then their school life, their friends, joking with their teachers, just the day-to-day -day running of the school, very happy kids. So my best advice is come to see us, spend a day, take a tour, ask a lot of questions. Ask the teachers questions, the principal questions, ask the kids questions, you know. We're really open, it's an open school as you can see, and we welcome you. So hope to see you in the future. Thank you. We have uh, two streams. We've got a core stream where students have more confidence in their English uh, and have um, another stream where students maybe are still learning uh, English from the beginning or near the beginning and still haven't developed the skills to enter the core class yet, but um, they have the ability to go into the core class. So. Uh, each student has their own uh, personal notebook computer. The teachers put uh, content on home pages on, on the internet that students can access um, and uh, students can then download worksheets and learn about um, a subject from anywhere, not just here at the school. Uh, so that offer, offers them a good opportunity to take their learning home with them and to monitor their own learning, um, teaching what, what we call self-regulation. Uh, but at the same time, like I said, it's, uh, it's a challenge because computers are distracting. And um, so we use that as an opportunity to teach students to monitor their own learning, but do so in a responsible way. あの、so we're here to teach them about school, but we're also teaching them about life and how to be good people and good to each other. And at the same time, uh, let them learn about that themselves uh, through doing things like, you know, out of school field trips, uh, where they get to mix and mingle and enjoy their time together in a fun way as well as an academic way every day here at school. So yeah, it's a great place. I think uh, it'd be good for anybody at this age to come.
regardless of your English level. Uh, Columbia is a smaller international school. Uh, we have a lot of interaction between teachers and students. Uh, students learn a lot about the modern world and how the skills needed to survive in the modern world. The先生と結構距離が近いので、すごい学校行くのがすごい毎日楽しみで。ま、ゆるいって言い方ですかね、学校。あんま毎学期毎日のようにやるので、普通に授業やっているだけでもう大学に必要なスキルとかも自然にあの取り組まれていて。Okay, いれました。全部が全部において生徒の自己責任。それはルールとしてあの自由とは言えるかもしれないけど、自分の責任がなるので。こう考え方としては子供は楽かもしれないけど。他の学校では日本人のあの親でも英語が喋れないといけないっていう